So we are team 14 handful finish. Good morning. Hip hip hemp fray. Our fabric is here to save the day and you from bacteria. It's 100% hemp fabric infused in natural formula, perfect for hospitals, hotels, and airplanes. So you can sleep tight knowing you're resting on an antibacterial and sustainable blanket. Here are my lovely teammates. My name is Sherry on the left, and then we have Faiha, Lydia, and Carmen. So what's the problem that we're tackling? We're tackling two type of different issues. The first one is there's a lot of bacteria in public spaces. So for example, in hospitals, around 1.7 million infections occur in the US every year. And we realize this isn't only prevalent in hospitals, but must be prevalent in any areas where a lot of people are going in and out and there's not enough time to clean in between, such as airplanes or hotels as well. The other issue is that we throw out a lot of textiles every year. So textiles, any type of clothing or fabric type of material. So the US has an average of 21 billion pounds per year that they throw out in landfills every year. And that's just the US. So pre-pandemic, we read about the prevalence of infections in hospitals. And then we realized that this is a big issue because it's not only prevalent hospitals, but it's prevalent everywhere. And then we wanted to kind of spread that out because we're always interacting with different people and fabrics everywhere. So we also wanted to focus on a project that's sustainable, not only one that's health oriented. So that's why we wanted to kind of blend these two passion of ours to come up with this product. And post pandemic is we realized that because of everything going on, a lot of people are more aware of germs and trying to be more hygienic. So we thought it's really fitting the times. And I'll be passing along to Carmen. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. So for our market review, we first wanted to understand what's um, out there that's commercially available and found that most antimicrobial uh, technologies for fabrics utilize silver or other metal ions. And these, these metal ions uh, have a really negative impact on the environment, potentially contaminating surface waters and harming aquatic wildlife. The next part of our market research was to see how viable our product is and found that the global antimicrobial textile market is expected to grow to 12.3 billion in 2024. And so we think this is really promising. Additionally, we found that there are trends towards the use of hemp in many applications, such as medicines and fabrics. And with the um, increase in demand of the hemp crop, we can expect raw material costs to decrease and our product to remain cost competitive in the future. Then we performed literature review to understand um, more about the hemp fabric and found it has a lot of well-known antibacterial properties and is considered a sustainable crop because it uses fewer resources to grow than cotton. It uses a third less of the water and very little pesticides. Additionally, we did uh, previous we did research on previous studies on different ingredients that have antimicrobial properties, and this served as the foundation for our preliminary testing. After doing all of this research, our main contribution will be to use a combination of natural ingredients to formulate an antibacterial coating, and then that is applied to hemp fabric. After our phase one testing, we found that the most effective formulation includes garlic, fresh lime juice, and vinegar. And now I'll be passing it on to Feha, who will talk a little bit more about the specifics of our project. All right, thank you, Carmen. So what is the science and technology behind this entire innovation? For the science, we've been using the Kirby Bauer distribution method, which we'll talk about later on, to find the perfect formula for this project. And for technology, we were using Python to count the bacterial area in each petri dish, and then using Excel and JMP to do some statistical analysis. On the next slide, we'll see for the Kirby Bauer diffusion method. After our screening in the summer for different ingredients, we did a fractional factorial experiment for two to the six minus three. And with all these dicks, this we were able to measure the zone of inhibition, which refers to this clean area around each disc to show how much bacteria was prevented from growing. And the garlic, lime juice, and vinegar had the largest zone of inhibition. For the second part of our semester, our validation and testing was through this incubator, which we invested in due to the lack of e-lab access. And then that allowed us to maintain a constant design of experiment environment for each lab, for each team member. And with Python, we were using our daily pictures to count the bacterial area over the five-day period of each trial run. Our fabric testing consisted of three different fabrics to maintain our comparison, and each one was prepared the same way and put in the same incubator to um, compare results. 
Our final phase of testing, which we just completed, was washing and drying to see how effective this formula really is after um, the washing that we can expect in the industrial setting. So for our formula right now, it is um, still effective until the third wash in limiting bacterial spread. And I will now uh, show you these pictures that we conducted from our fabric comparison testing. So our first trial was at 37 degrees Celsius, which is a textile testing standard. And then again, 25 degrees Celsius, because that is more representative of a room temperature setting where we can use these fabrics. So our hemp fibers were the most successful after five days because there was no visible growth, so had the slowest growth rate. Cotton polyester was moderate growth rate and hemp burlap was the worst. As you can see, it's pretty gross with a lot of bacteria. So this fabric was not successful in limiting the growth even with the formula on it. I will now pass it on to Lydia to quantify these observations and wrap up our presentation. Thanks, Maya. So as you can see on the slide, we conducted statistical analysis using JUMP and the results proved that hemp is the most effective with the lowest mean of bacteria colony. Here is a demonstration of bacteria growing on hemp burlap for five days. Uh, next slide, please, thanks. Um, now on to project management. We split up the responsibilities as shown. And due to the pandemic, we had to do some adjustments by using household bacteria and hand infusing the formula since we did not have access to laboratories. Some risks were that if the fabric was going to be effective pre-wash and after how many washes, was the fabric still going to be effective? Thankfully, as previously mentioned, the fabric is still effective after three washes. Our next steps are to commercialize the products. We plan to manufacture fabric into various products and make it softer, use encapsulation to seal the formula and lab testing to ensure it is effective. We will also pitch our idea tomorrow at a biomedical entrepreneurship event. And special thanks to Connie Pascal, who just guided us with the hemp process and introduced us to Lisa Vivino. And also thanks to Dr. Jafari, Dr. Albin, Dr. Rosenberg, Yufei Burju, our ISC class of 21, and our family and friends.